name is Audra Hilsey. I am the collections manager at the Anoka County Historical Society. I've been here five years now. Um, I started part-time in September of 2014, and then I, I took over as the collections person in 2015. And people do, people walk in the door all the time. And it depends a lot on what they're looking for. So uh, just today we had somebody in who wanted to know more about one of the, um, the Civil War soldiers who was from here, uh, who, was, who died in battle during the Civil War. So I was able to get him some documents that we have about, um, about that person. You know, what, what can you tell me about this particular gun, for example, that we know it maybe was owned by a soldier from the area, um, but I can only tell you a few basic things about it and he can give me a paragraph or more worth of information about what kind of gun it is and, and that sort of thing. And then he learns something too, because maybe he's never seen it before and it turns out there's something really cool about it that I didn't know and he hadn't seen it. So then we both learn something you know, really interesting about this, this artifact. And then I can document that. I can write that down in our database so that the next time somebody's looking at it, um, that information kind of, it gets passed on and on then in the future. Um, the Downs family was a family that lived both here in Anoka and they had a farm over in Ramsey for a long time. And this is back around 1900, you know, into the 19 teens kind of time period. Um, and one of the members of the family had a camera and he took lots of pictures on glass plate negatives. And we actually have that collection of his glass plate negatives. Um, there's a lot of things to think about when you're putting a, an exhibit or a display together in a museum. Anybody might walk in the door knowing nothing about this thing that I am making a display about. And so I have to assume that someone is coming to it without any knowledge at all. Um, but I also need to assume that somebody who is interested in the topic, whatever it is, and might already know some things about it, is probably going to be looking at this exhibit too. So there's always a balance of, I need to introduce the subject well um, for that person who doesn't know anything about it at all in a way that hopefully is gonna help them be interested in it. But I need to provide enough additional information beyond that, that somebody who does know something about it is going to still be interested if they come in and are looking at that exhibit. I, I think there is definitely a, a shift that is happening and that is going to continue to happen about making things more digitally available, more available online, so that you don't have to be physically present necessarily in the museum to access our collections, to access the exhibits. Um, we still want to do those things, you know, we still want to be here physically for people who can and would like to come and see those things in person. I really like a lot of things about my job. Um, I think the, the variety of things I get to see and work with and learn is one of the things I love most. I really like learning about stuff, lots of different kinds of stuff. So I get to do a lot of that in this job.